Sabon. Togazan, Togazan, Togazan. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my stream. Love what you do and do what you love. Love what you do and do what you love. Okay, okay, okay. San Bonani, everybody. Welcome to my stream. If you are joining me today for the first time, Kidna Kokumoro, I am. A humble soul, I come spreading love and cheers and I celebrate Ithlozi, I practice Ubungoma, I practice spirituality and I love sharing my spaces with you. Um, if you are tuned in, please make sure, since you are tuned in rather, please make sure that you share the stream. Let your friends know. Don't let your friends be without this content. Energy Akoko is always 100%. I love it. Guys, is my sound okay? 100%. I don't need puff puffs. Ne? Ne right, ne? De right, de right. Eh, eh. <laughs> um, yo. Today's topic. Okay, can I quickly write this message? I don't know how to write this message. Um, dating. Yo, but soon, when are you when you are used to a habit the way I was, I was on YouTube. So I was like, dating spiritually gifted. So I was like, the spiritually gifted. Woo, better again, son. Take no, no. Dating the spiritually gifted. Um, and then I'm going to put there some hearts. I'm going to post, hopefully. How do I pin this, guys? How do I pin it? Um... Okay, it seems like I'm going to have to go without it because I don't know how to pin it. Okay, I'm holding for a long time. It's not due. Guys, uh, how do I pin this thing to my conversation? Okay. I'm seeing those requests already. That's fantastic. Woo, my Nancy. My Nancy. Okay, thank you guys. I appreciate the love. Um, okay, it seems I'm going to go without the pinning of this thing because I don't know how to do it. Ne? So, um, we are talking about relationships. Um, firstly, I'm going to go through basic things that we know about Amantona Bamadlozi. First and foremost, Oh, please, while you're on the stream, please let me know where you're streaming from. Um, do you know, guys, there are people that have low vibrational energy and there are people that have high vibrational energy, especially when it comes to spirituality. Not all of us can be able to date each other because we don't vibrate on the same level. And because of that alone, um, it makes it difficult for us to merge as bodies and come together and fall in love and procreate and share the goodness into the world. And by virtue of that, we become uh, in, um, incompatible is the word. Um, no matter how much you try or how you try and merge these two spirits, it doesn't quite work out the way, you know. And um, um, some of the characteristics of a person um they're usually emotional moody a lot they've almost like you could say they've got split personalities like when i'm like they've got many faces um and it's difficult for you to almost like pinpoint 
uh, how you, how this person is going to receive you. The next time you actually talk to them um, about anything, uh, usually they see right through you. So it's very difficult for you to try pull a fast one. Um, or the gifted, generally. Our sixth sense does not allow for us to be played. Um, they've got a strong character. Usually they need to be partnered up with strong individuals. Individuals who are rooted within their belief systems and they are grounded for the most part. Um, and that is essentially what makes up um, the characteristics of Mdanawamatlos. Now imagine if you're dating someone or Mtlambangatwasanga or does not believe or subscribe to Ubungoma or spirituality as a whole. That makes it a bit difficult because um because they can't tune into that channel that you're pulling from. Like it's very difficult to share spaces with these people. And it's not even with the lack of trying or or not even wanting to be a part of your life, but they genuinely are not called to play that role in your life. And you can't force someone to do um, anything that they're not supposed to. I remember a conversation, rather, um, Senkatele from last week, where this guy was dating a Sangoma and he was talking about a spiritual warfare and a clash in his relationship. That is purely because our belief systems are not the same. We don't prescribe to the same uh, healing systems or just even to ground ourselves as individuals. So now imagine how the communication is going to be in that relationship, especially because our relationship is largely reflective of ourselves. You choose to be with the person who reflects the energies that you have. Now, if the the person that you're dating mm, is low in vibration um, with their energies, it's very difficult to connect with that person. Guys, something that's very important as well is also being mindful of your dreams, your visions, your insights, the love of their lives, like through a dream, like it's the most craziest thing that could even be whispering in your ear that Lomunt Lom Shola Yomanj is actually the husband that you're supposed to, to be with and that you should be married to. Um, other people are even shown as far as how bad that person is for you. So forcing relationships, yes, like Vanessa is saying, it's so true. You can't force situations. You can't force yourself to be onto someone and you can't force someone to dig you as much as you dig them. It is not humanly possible. And for as long as you're not going to be true to yourself, I will certainly save the life. If you're not going to be true to yourself, then you're going to keep around carrying burdens of people that don't know how to reflect your energies back. Because there are times when you're low and you need your partner to bring you back um, to a grounded state. That's not possible if we're not tuned into the same frequency. And you also won't be able to identify when your partner needs you to be able to raise them up. So from yesterday's um, video, if you watched yesterday's video, please hit the like button and show your support to the channel. Um, we talked a lot about uh, about a lot of things yesterday. We talked about having uh, coitus uh, sex in a relationship uh, with, a, with when you when you um, when you're in a relationship and you being a gifted person. The cleansings that are necessary, the self care that's necessary, all of those things make up exactly how you need to be um, to make sure that you respect your body as a temple. I've got like a gazillion notes here. And they talk about everything that has to do with, with dating. Choosing the, the partner is important. The balance that you guys have. I mean, if you're going to be a gifted person and there's certain chores that needs to be done, um, if your partner is not necessarily allowing for that to happen or being open to helping you in your space, that relationship is going to be very difficult to maintain because you're not being able to see them in the eye of their awakeness. Also, there's a difference between being spiritually awakened and just being spiritual. Um, there's different paths, there's different uh, levels, and there's different processes to get to each and every one of them. So if you miss the opportunity to identify which level your partner is at, you're going to notice that it's going to be a hell of a struggle to get through your relationship, right? Um, some re uh, some relationships actually end right after an awakening. You could right now be in your relationship and you're finding that this relationship is doing absolutely nothing for me. The person I was in the beginning of it and who I am now, 
are not reflective of each other. So it means that you need to move and, 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 and shift from the space that you're in. The environment you created was the yesteryear you. It is no longer serving of the, the size of your spirit right now. So you need to move around the furniture, hence the term of Feng Shui. If things are going to be cluttered in your house, you need to move them around, much like in your relationships in your life per se. Uh, etc rather um do you know that there's people that are, are actually addicted to awakeness almost like you are you are addicted um someone else's uh, awakening is contagious to you like being a gifted person imagine if i'm always seeking out people who need um divining or who needs to ascend and i fall in love with those people by virtue of me seeing myself as a helper and now i can't differentiate my role as a lover and my role as a healer i take being a healer everywhere and i don't realize that i'm in love with this person only because i want to help them and to get them to their highest selves there's two tones that come with that it's either i'm going to be addicted to always be healing of other people which speaks to my ego speaks to me on an ego level that says to me am i in this relationship because i genuinely care and reciprocate the feelings or am i in the relationship because i am seeing myself um almost like i can celebrate myself later for being able to stick it out and help this person find their light exactly then who in, are you in the relationship for so you must be aware of yourself in the relationship so that you can be able to know at what kind of balance is there in the relationship is there 60 40 80 20 100 percent tipped the scale you're really in this relationship on your own much like most dialogue when you sms yourself and you're noticing the person you're talking to hardly ever replies that's a relationship that you're in on your own. I hope you know the signs and you can read the flags and read the people that you date. Take time to know somebody. Oh, look, that heart is on my nose. That is incredible. Um, welcome everybody again. And I was running through the basic things that come uh, into conversation when you're talking about dating a spiritually gifted person. Um, so, uh, final thing before I go into taking the calls, I wanted to talk about affirmations and how much dreams affirm, uh, affirm your relationship instincts and how most of the time we tend to come into relationships because we require validation. Must I repeat? How we require validation from other people. We sometimes go into relationship to affirm how absolutely awesome you are. Yes, indeed. Granted, you are. But you don't get to make yourself awesome by you saying that you're awesome. You're made awesome by the fact that that's someone else's also view of you, especially someone who's in a relationship with you. There's no need for you to be um, blowing your own horn about how great of a lover you are. Sometimes you, there's a question that likes to roam around like um, on social media that would you date yourself easily? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Have you seen me? Have you met me? I would say that all of us would say that. But how true actually is that um, statement when it comes to you being in a relationship? Like the person who is dating you, do they actually want to date you? What are the reasons of being in a relationship and all the things that are affirmed in the relationship to confirm and affirm the joint response and the shared feelings, if there are any, that you're pursuing and pressing in for? Guys, a relationship is like literally a two-way stream. No one can go at it alone. So when you find there's an imbalance, you must go back and retreat and make and like literally go back to loving yourself because that's going to speak to the truth of you because you're no good to anybody else when you don't take care of your center. So that is something that you need to be important of. By the time you, you exchange saliva with somebody, when you kiss that person, a relationship is formed from even texting. A relationship is formed from the first time they lay their hands on you touching like just even a brush of skin against each other. There's certain energies that are transferred. You must be mindful of each and every reactions and affirmations that you get from dealing with a person. 
You may think that you're head over in love with some with someone, only to find you're you're not they're not doing the same thing because you're busy looking at your reactions and your uh, advances to them, and you're not paying attention to how they're receiving you. And sometimes that's going to put you in the space of um. Who am I married to 25 years later? Whereas all this time, this person has been showing you they're not about your life. They're not about you. Uh, but you are in that because to you, the relationship is everything you need it to be. But when do we stop? Take stock. Yo, B, we started this when we were 18. We were still in school. What are we doing now? What are we trying to achieve then? Where are we moving into our relationship now? What are the things that are lacking? And how can we sustain the relationship further? Like, let's take restock. You never let you never let your friendships die out or become boring. You know, you choose your friends based on your reflection on you. So choose your partner based on the reflection of your spirit. So that even when you notice your friends are not doing well, it's easy to, to, to tell when someone is not doing well. Because you can identify yourself in them. So if you cannot identify yourself in your partner, you need to align, take stock, reset, and like like shake it off, girl. Like shake it off, dude. I'm going to start taking your calls now. Please be kind to me. Uh, requests. I've got a, I am poetic, the cooking exec and Lutendo. I'm going to go with the cooking exec. Uh, hear what you got to say, mama. Waiting. Don't forget to share the stream, good people. Coco, please save this. I certainly will. No, 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 no. Change the change, change the camera, turn it around. Let me hear you. Oh, okay, they're gone. I'm gonna go to someone else. Poetic. That's you. Um Goku, you're so loud today, Joe. We are being served alive. Fresh. I tell him, I don't tell my fresh. Hello, 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 Togozan, Togozan. Hello, Coco. Togozan, Coco. Nya pilu njani? Nya pilu, Coco. I'm so happy. Woo. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Talk to us, Mama. Tell us what's going on with you and your relationship or stance towards them. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you for something that's totally off topic for now. Okay. Okay. Why are you why are you changing our topic? Because I've, okay okay the reason is I I've been trying to get um clarity regarding this. And well, so tell me the 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 heading of your of, of your conversation. Well, it's just basically meditation. Meditation. Yeah. So kemutu wabo wabo koko ne, and um. Whenever I try to meditate, it's like, I, okay, I, I get visions, okay? I don't yes, know if that's yes. normal. It's all, I mean, I am, I'm okay with having visions. The mm. only problem is mm. how they come. This is like, heck, you get what I'm saying? Like, unexpected. And it just totally yeah. throws me off. I know mm. that's normal. Okay. Um, so what kind, well, how, does it, how does it leave your body feeling? It's, you know, when, when, when you meditate and you like in the state and you, you just, you, you, you within, you within everything. And then mm, mm, mm. all of a sudden this vision and it's, it's young, young, young imbalance in a way. I, I, I feel like it's not right. I don't know. Okay. So is it more, is it, is it more of a feeling or do you actually get to see it? I do see the visions. The problem is not the visions. It's how they come. Oh, how they come. Yeah. Okay, Goko, I think you need to be mindful of your meditations before, during, and after. Firstly, take in stock of how you are before you go into that meditation because sometimes you may even carry your own energies into the space that you are wanting to to, 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 to manifest and grow from. Um, also, try to keep your, uh, your wish list uh, very minimal and only speak to one particular conversation at a time in terms of what it is that you want to meditate over, what you want to get clarity on. Sometimes when you overcrowd our minds, then we scatter our brains a lot and then we end up leaving the space that we actually need to be in to receive because we have put too many 
requests out there into the universe. So narrow it down and keep it very minimalistic uh, so that you can receive it for what it is. Right now, it's, it almost makes it difficult to know why are you having that reaction to your meditation spaces because of... Um, it, it, it imbalances you. So when you meditate on your own thoughts and your own intention, it narrows it down. Then you'll, more, you'll draw more of a conclusion towards what is this thing trying to tell me and why does it end up throwing me off? Then you can follow the trail when it comes to that. Okay. Thank you so much, Gogo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for taking you off topic, but like, I felt like I needed to talk to you about this and I'm so thankful. Thank you so, so much. Gogo, you're most welcome. Thank you. So, Gogo. Remove. Okay, Bokoko, if we're going to make this and be successful at this, can you please keep it on topic? Otherwise, I'm here for it, okay? Uh, I'm going to go to me. Ni, mi nente. Yo, mama, what's good? Guys, don't forget to share the stream um, and let us know where you're from. I see people from Randbergs and Chirin, etc. Woo! Hi, Tana Bakoko. <laughs> you, I almost lost myself there. Like I could not believe what was happening. Ooh, na kote ngiyo tuko zisa kwenye matala. Ah, tuko zako Bakoko. You, Bakoko, I wanted to ask something, eh? Okay. Um, ngu ngu zote, ngumita na wezo, eh? Tuko zako. But my um. The thing is, I'm mm -hmm. and I'm still in training right now. Okay. So my problem is that um, when I found out about this already, I was in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So now, and it's a thing, you would see, I'm in a relationship with someone that understands. He's okay, you know, like he, he understands everything. But whenever I'm close to him, you know, it's like, just go away. You know, oh, like, okay. I don't want him around. I don't want him mm. around. But then he's mm. such an amazing person. Like, he's that person that's, like, supporting me, you know, and everything. And it's a thing, mm. I don't know whether it's something that, I don't know, like, is it because of it all, of Meling Iti, dude, a name for now, mm. or, mm. like, what must happen? Please advise on that. And Nakona, is it, is it, is it okay for Umtana, or such as it all, um, to be in a relationship, like, like, how does it work? Okay, generally, when thank you for the question, Coco. Uh, generally, when you are in a relation, when you are um, under guidance or training with Izozi, we refrain from having um, other relationships besides with them, right? Because we want to give our absolute all into the relationship and into this growth period that we are in. So we can maximize on the learnings and not confuse things and confuse our minds. And that's why you are separated from the, from the world and then you are getting a pain. So in an instance like this, when you are being guided by your ancestors, it does not necessarily mean that you don't have a covela, maybe not now, but it means that it is still taking care of its own business and it will send you wherever it needs to when the time is right. So when this is happening, you need to have a balance in your life and be observing of the nature of the relationship you have. Yes, the relationship started before the, rela the, um, the journey began, which means that um, they found him already there. Um, by virtue of finding him there, they knew about him. But now when they are starting to make you repel him on a physical level that you no longer even want to be around him, like why are you chewing like that? Why do you look at me like that? Why do you even breathe like that? Almost like anything about them annoys you. It's speaking to a low level of tolerance. And you now need to move the things around in your life and shift them in a way that they will make more sense and be able to support you in the role that you're in. Sit, and, sit him down, speak to him about your, the importance and how much you value where you are in your journey and that you need to, uh, to focus. And this is how you would like him to be, how you need him to be as a support system. And then you will gauge from there what his reaction is. But for the most part, it sounds like it was, he's not necessarily wanting you to stay very close to the this person and not at least as close as you used to be in the beginning of your relationship so you need to grow as much as your spirit is growing sometimes our partners can come up with us what i mean by that is that not necessarily now but uh, this is your moment to be in your schooling your partner cannot be in a role of um 
especially when you're not trying to learn about your industry or what it is that you do in your private corner when you're praying, it's showing that this person is functioning again and vibrating at a low vi uh, vibration. And you are now currently going at a high vibration. How are you going to do that if you keep on having sex with this person? That means you have to still go around first and then go cleanse yourself, then open the foot to buy. So there's something about how you need to change your life around to be accommodative of this phase and respecting it wholeheartedly and give yourself to it. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Gogo. And another so thing that I wanted to ask, I watched, mm. your, I watched your YouTube um, uh, channel yesterday about this whole mm. thing. And I just wanted to know, Uti, what is it that I can use um to to cleanse myself like i honestly feel like i need to just start up fresh you know mm, it's something mm. that how can i put it i even had a dream about this guy and mm -hmm. in the dream i was running away from him going to my other ex and i was like but how because he's such a good person he's never really done anything you know whatever but now i just really really want a fresh start and in mm. so it's an easy, mm. i'm not really sure how am I supposed to do them? So I I heard you mentioning you can cleanse with Epsom salt, but then mm. what else? Like, what what else can I also use just to start a fresh energy? Okay. Uh, also, for some of this, uh, for the sake of time management, I'm also going to kindly refer you back to the channel. There is a series called Self Care, and part of that is Ugupalaza, Ugufuta, Ugukeza, and all the secrets that I share and basically the learnings that I've had to to learn along my journey. And it's going to teach you how to be able to do that with household items uh, that you um, so you can maintain yourself during this the restricted time that we're in. But to speak to your dream, Goko, even in your dream, it's being Reciprocated. The same message that you were getting in real life when you're next to this person is being repeated again. And there's power in repetition. Um, so it's telling you that you must be running away from this person because he cannot carry you right now where you are. And this is not even in the physical sense. Uh, that's why you're running back to an, an, an ex. Almost like that ex has, um, has a different image uh, towards Ithlozi in terms of how you're supposed to be partnered up with your partner. So be mindful and maybe look at the characteristics of your ex and the characteristics of your current to notice the difference. Not necessarily that pack your bag and go back to your ex. That's not what it means. But it, it's being it's showing insight that this is the ideal and type of mold we're looking towards when you're trying to partner you up with someone. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you, Gogo. All the best with your journey. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank yeah, you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Minnie. I saw a lovely uh, comment here by Lelo. Uh, happy 30th birthday, Mama. Also, I found grounding myself before meditation help uh, soak your feet in sea water, sea salt water before you start. Uh, Mini Min just made me feel normal. Exactly, guys. We are the most troublesome people in the world. Like, since my personality, I have fifteen thousand five hundred. Um, don't tell me to write that number. I'm not sure if I can. Um, in a day, in a minute, like unkuzavela, so so. I was saying, na mund, I was going to, I was going to nix my rubuso ba kubuso, valaba karachito, I fun no was. Then go figure Ukoko, look, Kulisil, look, Tandel, but the other time I was a nigger mahag, and you are all over people. You want to know how they're doing, how their grandmothers are doing. Oh my god, oh. five minutes ago. So, the person that you're going to be dating needs to understand the shift in who you are and how you are. That's why I mentioned that it looks like you have a split personality disorder, like Ungati. Uh, but be mindful of that. We're going to go to a Charlotte. She's been waiting here for a little bit longer. Charlotte Love Dube. Let's do this. Charlotte, where you at, Mama? Hi. Togo's a Togo's a Togo's a Pila Ninja. So, Pila, you are so beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, stop. <laughs> no. Just like a short little story. This is my first time on your um, Instagram. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, Welcome. So, thank you. I had a dream about a young woman that was taking me through my journey. And mm. then so I wake, I wake up and uh, I tell my friend, I'm like, oh, babe, she's so learned. She's this, she's that, she's that. 
And then I think it was like two hours later, she sends me um, a YouTube channel. She's like, oh, subscribe to this channel, Ugogmoy. She's, um, I think you'll like her. And the mm. next thing, when I see you, I say to her, I'm like, babe, get out of here because I feel like that's the person I dreamt about. And she's like, no. no. I'm like, yes. I'm like, I'm like, I didn't see her face, but I saw her skin tone. I saw her nails. I saw her, um, like, more the kind of person you are. Mm. And I'm like, I promise mm. you. She's like, get out. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll make a reservation to see her. But anyway, COVID-19 hit us. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so, Coco, just um, side story. But um, my real question is, um, with all of this, I've been running away from one person for a long time. And okay. they just keep following me. And I just, I've blocked. Uh, and he calls with a different number. And I just like, I can't shake him off. And I have this feeling that he's just like, not the greatest human being. And like, and like, I broke up with him. I left. I was like, thank you, guy. Goodbye. And he just, it's been like a year and some months now. And he just keeps chasing after me. What does he say when he come back? back? No, just your phone. The, no, the first time he was like, he has reported me to his ancestors that I'm the woman for him. And uh, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, guy, like, just stop. And then he just calls with different numbers. Why have you blocked me? And I dropped the phone. And hi, I just wanted to say hi. And I'm just like, okay, that's very stalkerish. And you are, yeah, you are really scary. <laughs> Okay, Coco, I'm going to give you a, t- I'm going to teach you a bit of some magic that I do, right? I'll just call it magic for the sake of, um, take a piece of paper and write a letter to him and say your goodbyes, bid him adieu. And, um, after that, you're going to take that piece of paper, you're going to fold it, you're going to, uh, take a matches, uh, and then you're going to burn it. And almost, um, you can even print a paper, a piece of a picture of something that reminds you of him so that you can also lose this tie that you have with him uh, because you need to let the, put it out there in the universe that you need, he needs to stop having a boomerang, a boomerang effect into your life and always coming back and feeling like he needs to, uh, he needs to, you're, you're grounding him and ask for on his behalf that may his ancestors teach him how to find his grounding and not look for it in other people. So firstly, try help him set himself free and then you set him free from you um um i don't know if you if you have this but there's something called uh manyazine. it's called yeah they call it manyazine uh, it's almost like cl- 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 guys can you please write it there in the comments chloride something something um I'll, I'll put a picture of it on my on my stories right after this okay and then you mix it with uh glycerine so you need to buy glycerine so in this piece of paper you're going to take it and then let me just make an example quickly here. Um, so you're going to put some of that chloride there. It's like almost like it's it's not powder, but it's flaky type thing. Um, mm-hmm. And then you're going to put maybe a spoon of it in there. And then you're going to take glycerine and then you're going to pour it in there. Uh, not, not so much that it spills over to the sides, but just enough, right? And then you're going to fold it into there. And then literally you're going to fold it and then you're going to put it away. And then you're going to say, today, this relationship ends and I want you no more. And watch what it does in reaction. So I'm giving all of you guys a challenge oh, wow. to tell me what this thing did for you, especially in wanting to cut a tie with someone and wanting to let them go and to be free of those people. Try that and then have their name written down in there. You can even do it on the same letter that you wrote to them and then watch it. Stand a bit back. Don't do it on the carpet. Do it outside when you know that you don't know you, nothing is going to catch a light and just watch. After that, you'll clean it up tomorrow and then turn around and say goodbye. And then you'll let me know what that means for you because this guy is coming across very stalkerish. It seems like this is. is an unhealthy relationship for you and ultimately is going to lead you astray because even the energy that he's feeling towards himself, it's too much for him. Like, yeah, me, man. Yeah. And he's yeah. reflecting that energy back to you and in a negative way. So it doesn't show that anything that this guy can add positively into your life because even when he, when he comes back and you ask him, yo, so why are you coming back here? He's got nothing constructive. Knows. So it shows that he's stuck in a time of being with you. You're the one example he has in terms of how a relationship should look like, how a, a lovely girl should look like. But that's ever since, that's like the template you've ever left in his life. Now you have to remove your soul tie from that relationship and free him. Yeah, because it's very stalkerish. He even talks about, 
I've been told that you're going to give me a baby girl. I can't let you go. And I'm like, Then why are your ancestors showing you, my love? Your ancestors must also show you that this person that's busy coming yes. back, this chronic person, he's actually here to mother your, to father your children. Why are you not getting the same energy back? It shows that this is a I'm one not. direction energy field. So, yeah. like that time. And about the dream that you have, can you please contact my office? Um, yes, my, I my did. Number? And then you, uh, do you have a date already booked with me? No, no, I haven't. I haven't. But I just lost my job. So I was like, you know what? Let me just keep my funds no, for but, but, what I need now. Anyway, and then remind me of our conversation and I'll let you have a free session. There are a lot of oh, people who like to um, donate uh, further to, uh, to them than themselves and donate to the channel so that other people can have the same uh, privilege of, of getting uh, readings with myself. So they pay it forward. So I would like to offer you one of those. So please contact oh. my office and so that I can be able to do that reading for you. Uh, and then we'll make it happen. Okay. All you got to do is pay for Thank your airtime you. to call me. Okay? At least oh, you can manage awesome. that. Uh, again, thank you, Gogo. Thank you so much. I contacted you on WhatsApp. Can I write that same message on WhatsApp? Perfectly, perfectly. That's my that's uh, my big. 114 messages right now, so there's a lot. But that's why I'm saying be specific in your story, so I can yes. identify. I had a conversation with you, and in preparation for our session, please make sure that you have your dream journal, uh, that you're mm -hmm. writing your dream in, and all the questions that you have for me. And yes. I will talk to you. Soon. Oh, thank you, Gogo. Togo, Gogo. Thank you so much. All the best, right? Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yay. Yay to Charlotte. You see, patience is a virgin. Um, because there's no other way you can be a virgin if you're not patient. Yo, Coco, this is true. We have a lot of personalities in one person. One moment you want to be alone, the next you want to be loved. You are angry and all the emotions come flooding. Girl, that's why they say you must learn your emotional maturity and balance that first so that you can be able to be of service to other people. There are times when I walk in in Dumbayne and I'm reading somebody and then as soon as this person walks in, Africana. Like, I take on a new form. I am upset. I'm mad. I'm everything. And I'm like, damn, girl, what are you not doing for your ancestors? Because it was like only two tell. But you are the vessel. So you are the one that has to keep that emotion so you can best describe it and explain it to the person that you're reading for. Um, there, was a, there was a comment from Uyonela. Um, I was reported to ancestors. Imagine, run. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Goko King. Yeah, King says the same. Well done. Yes, it's potassium pema genate. Yes, the purple crystal stuff. Exactly. Agreed, agreed, agreed. You see, you guys, nyang, nyang fila, man. Nyang fila, nyang fila, nyang fila. Eh, bless you, Goko. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, diablela nam doch. Okay. Six more people. Okay, randomly, I'm going to go to. It's so difficult to choose. There's a million of you guys. Let's take a gentleman. Um, in Libyan. Oh, King Pamela. She's not. That means you got a male energy. You talk to us. Togo the coco. Togo the coco. Togo the coco. Yeah, but what's that lousy? Yeah, Coco. No, Coco. Um, the topic, Yanam Sanje, it's it's mm. it's highly needed and and it's very critical, especially if oh, Mundo Osanda Kala in between. Oh, Mundo who has just recently discovered it's home. Who mm. who is still understanding in the bayetos because normally isn't as Zagala Yokoko is that <laughs> you would sleep Epsuko with the person that you're dating. Mm. Then Ning Ning Koko Ukombisa Ugutsigu Mele Gashegashe Ulumisum Sam Womund rather than dating them. You are oh. sent to you are sent to them for a purpose, and not necessarily to be in a romantic relationship with someone. And mm -hmm. you need to understand how to separate and distinguish between those relationships, because when your journey is over, 
with that person. So is the relationship. Then you keep on holding on to whatever emotional bond that you have created, but it's not a bond mm-hmm. that is created when it is a mm-hmm. bond that is created by itongalako through mm-hmm. itongalago bo kuzuzo mfuselela umsam. So so sometimes you you meet someone, you have a connection. That's why I always preach uguti. Whenever you meet with someone and you feel as if there's something beyond to what you are feeling, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now people are unable to do that mm-hmm. then kuba inkinga koko kuba inkinga kakhulu bese futhi kube nabantu thoko koko nilalelo koko kube nabantu yeah bese kube nabantu koko azofika kwena athi ukuphuphile koko njenge njenge salukaze gade sikhuluma manje athi ubonisiwe Mm-hmm. Bese uyazi ukuthi kumele umsize with a particular spiritual path that they are taking. Mm-hmm. But bese bebe nama romantic ties with you. And that can ruin your whole chain. Leo, so, you are going to call you from your spiritual path. Don't confuse mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. what it anuko. Mm-hmm. And, and and a spiritual connection no mundo because kunent egmele ni sanga nele no by two. That is very true, Koko Sebuanga. Thank you so much for saying that. Eya mi ipele la lab. Nitogo za Koko Sebuanga. Sebuanga Koko. Daniel Sozi, you have said a mouthful and that is why we have to be mindful of having a discernment when it comes to the people that come into our lives. Um, much like some of your friends are here to teach you lessons some of the relationships you're going to be in are going to teach you lessons but how are you going to learn those lessons if the first instinct is to fall in love with them you know you're not giving the relationship an opportunity to tell you about it uh, much like your relationship nokobela wakho mhlawumbe angamela ngukuthi akunguhambise yonke indlela but akunike i start but how are you going to establish that if you have yourself chosen to go ahead of itonga and and give yourself the role of being in control another joke because comes on you because it's moshala when awako is dozagini um yes. someone was asking yes. you know um samo it says it's almost like a sacred space in spirituality uh, yes. an altar that you have where you speak to your ancestors and you perform rituals and ceremonies it's a very sacred uh, um um space uh, mm-hmm. in a home within a lineage and it's carried over for many generations so this is something that's very important lokoko aishilo thank you goko for 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 sharing with us that can we ask you what is your uh, relationship status goko yanizo Thank you so much to ukoko pamela wow she said a mouthful she said a mouthful guys discern 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 the same way as when you find your gorilla you have to allow it to be the one that carries the conversation to carry the energy they see more than you someone here is asking what are amatong amatong our ancestors our god our guides um they are from our lineage from our uh, our family history they are the ones that guide and 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 attune us to the ancestral callings that we have and they guide us along the way and uh, they all differ in the level of importance or their role rather so that's how they would differ ukoko says please lift your phone a little bit um we see you fine when it's just you but when it's someone else we just see you from your nose down oh thank you for sharing that okay i'm a bit drop guess how are you so how are you jira ge hopefully that's better we'll see it with the next person who i let in here and i'm literally going to take i want to know guys do we do we want to generally when i close my streams i ask for a message from spirit using tarot cards 
so I want to ask that. I want to ask if you guys are voting for us to do that now um, or we take the last call. Um, my problem, uh, I need a cleansing. Okay, my love, that's a different topic. Is it wrong or with someone you're dating? No, it's not wrong to go to, to, to pass it with someone that you're dating. Both of you must just make sure that both of you speak to your ancestors individually. You have no right to be speaking to his ancestors. So you do not, uh, you must not give yourself uh, indima higher than what you've actually been given uh, in someone's role. So both of you can have your own setups next to each other, land partner corner, and it's actually a very, very beautiful bonding session that you can have with your loved one. It shows intent, it shows that you guys are on the same path and that you're, you're even when your relationships needs aid, both of you guys will be able to see it because you're light in spirit. Um, Okay, someone is reflect is responding back to Goko or King Pamela. What you are saying makes so much sense, Goko. Even when you meet new people in your life, whether male or female, it's important to wait for the relationship to unveil itself. True, that's why you find that um, these relationships that uh, end so early because of. Okay, someone said now. Someone said yes. Okay, so I'm going to move on to that part of our lovely conversation. Um, that's why you find that there's people who are um, finding out very late about their relationships because um, they didn't take time to ask it home. I, you know, I understand that take time to know a person, but take time to get an affirmation about the person that you're dealing with, whether it's a business uh, partnership, whether it's a relationship, romantic or platonic, or even one that you keep with your family members. It's absolutely important to let the guides and your ancestors be able to show a, a path for you and to uh, ideally put you in the right uh, form. The first question here I'm going to ask... Um, I want to ask for all of us here uh, a loving message from Spirit uh, in closing of this lovely stream. And okay, that's a nice card. Um, okay, let me put my tab on the screen that can assist with this. Boom. Okay, the first card that drops is Mother, Mother of One. Mm, a loving message from spirit. I'm going to draw three cards, ladies and gentlemen. Um, spirit is with us. Ooh, guys, we have beautiful cards here. Um, oh, guys, I also want to know from you guys, do you prefer if we do streams on YouTube or IG Live? Um, I wanted to know from you guys. Um, whoa, look at... Okay, so we got... The Mother of Wands, the Son of Cups, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, and the bottom of the deck is the Death card. Uh, death doesn't necessarily... Um, I'm just going to go through these. Mother of Wands speaks to sexuality, uh, initiatives, startups, relocation, Cups speak to relationships, uh, love, fertility, spirituality, and family. I'm glad that there's a card that speaks to, to love here as part of our conversation. It shows that we are exactly where we need to be. For Mother of Ones, this card writes here. I want to put it in a way that you guys can see it because actually I'm going to switch off my ring lights behind me. and okay, It's too reflective. It's too bright. Um, oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know. You have my nose is okay. There's the card, ladies and gentlemen. It is Mother of Ones, attractive, domestic, and vibrant. The Mother of Ones is a vibrant woman and a happy mother. Family comes first in her world. She's very protective of it and is the dominant parent within the home. Though proud and determined, she has enough grace and beauty that you'd hardly notice her forceful nature. Oftentimes, she, overcome, she has overcome great pain and trauma in her life. It's important not to get on her bad side. Be warned. So this is going back to telling us guys uh, to, to be mindful. Okay, guys, I hear the IG part. Got it. Um, 
it's telling us to be very mindful of who we are. We are big homemakers. We are dominant people within our, our families, especially being Abantwana Bezos, the spiritually gifted people. The role we play surpasses the one that we choose or see and identify for ourselves. We play massive roles in the community to the people that come in contact with us. We need to be mindful of that. And uh, by virtue of that, uh, and having so much grace and beauty that comes with us because we're so poised, um, you, you hardly ever notice a forceful nature. So even in the less space of love, we are being guided and being shown that we should not be a person who is forceful of being in a relationship. As you can see, the snake there is holding her wand as well as sitting with her eggs. This is showing that we're protective. We take care of our own. Uh, we are natural home givers and birthers. So being the people that we are, we need to be mindful of that and not take it for granted. Don't play a role be below who you are are called to be because you're going to underrepresent yourself um this is the son of cups it's artistic and introspective like all of the cups family the son truly excels within the arts he's usually a musical and visual artist of some kind and he finds success within his field his natural tendencies to look inward adds to his charm and mystique to others he may seem secretive and even peaceful while deep inside he carries a deep canal of intensity guys there's no way we can be this deep and so intense with 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 intensity um and and just be timid you can see by virtue of us being homeowners and home builders we need to have the power and the grace to pull it off so this takes a lot of natural tendency of being able to look inward uh, and add to the charm and mystique and the mystery you know as the part where i wrote that there's actually people who are attracted to abantona bezlozi and who are buck about us and almost like they are attracted to us by just virtue of us being magical and it adds to this mystique and this charm that we have but most importantly if we do not be with introspective we're going to miss the opportunity of being able to influence the spaces we have in our lives don't worry guys i'm gonna save this stream you got it you got it um Yes, artistic, some very kind, he finds success within his field. Guys, me, I don't know of any unsuccessful Sangomas. All the Sangomas that I know that I've been friends with, by Sebenza, they are thriving in the spaces they are in. They are open-minded within spirituality. If you have a bad heart, it's going to represent you. So be this kind person, be of love, be of light, and share information with other people. And don't speak ill of others. If someone comes to talk to you about a bad trait of someone else, would you don't how many fingers are pointing back at you? Um, and the last card we pulled here was the Nine of Pentacles. And Pentacles usually speak to the coin. It talks, talks to work, money, career, business, ancestral, and physical health. And this is what it looks like. Um, this card says the ten, uh, it's fulfillment and abundance. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles signifies material and spiritual abundance in nearly every area of your life. The number 10 usually indicates, no, indicates, um, uh, I'm reading the wrong one, but I like this card anyway. It still talks about the same thing. Nine of Pentacles, happy, healthy home. Always a welcome card. The Nine of Pentacles is a time to enjoy the many results of your loyalty and hard work. This may be a promotion at work and a newfound stability and happiness at home. It's even possible that you'll find yourself enjoying the finer things in life as luxury and refinement oftentimes accompany this card. I just spoke about the fact that if you are an amazing person and you're a gifter and you care about other people, it's reciprocated back to your energy. So this is essentially the message that we are getting from our guides today. And stay within your power, guys. Don't lose that. Don't lose that. Don't be shaken by it. The person who's going to come into your life is going to respect that you've got a big role already to play within your family and they'll want to add positively to it. And look at this cup. This cup is beaming. It's got like light from inside of it. It's showing good. There's a lot of positive energy that's coming from this. Also, look at the, the, the lines of look at the lines of of the um, of the almost like a triangle going upwards it's pointing upwards your energy is upwards so 
how can you not if you're a positive person you're obviously going to get positive results look at that again pentacles it talks about coin it talks about money it talks about career business ancestral and physical health so by ourselves so that we can be able to attract the right partners i'm going to get from the last deck here it's called my empowerment deck by Tavis Smiley and I would like to get the last card uh, to add to the empowerment of the stream and thank you so much everybody for tuning in I appreciate each and every one of you guys and I am because you are um who why are we why are we congratulating do me Eh, uh, with Dimela like getting a job accident, yo, I feel like I'm missing out. So did she say I got a promotion at work? Oh my god, that's fantastic! That's fantastic. Peace and love and lights, go go. Ah, uh, guys, me appreciate you. Why are why why why? Um, and I don't care what other people say about me. It doesn't add or take away from who I am. The people that are mine are going to stay. Those who are not, ax, ax. Don't be crowding seats that need bums that care. Don't be crowding no seats that need bums that need that can help us and add to the inside. Here's one sticking out, and it says resolve to get involved. I wonder what this means. This is what this card looks like. It says get involved in your church, in your community, in your schools, and in your monetary programs, uh, mentoring programs. Unconditionally offer your time, talent, love, and support and money. Give for the joy of giving and not for the expectation of a return. Can I tell you the most weirdest thing about this card, especially the last line where it says, give for the joy of giving and not with the expectation of return. Uh, guys, next week's episode is talking about the ego. And we are talking exactly about giving and giving wholeheartedly and not always giving because there's a return to you. So... Stop taking photos of every time you do something nice for people, okay? Don't put that stuff on blast. Put the stuff of how you um uh how you are able to to let them rather be the ones that talk about the help and the aid that you have given them. Uh resolve to get involved as TSG says here. Yeah. To the TSG community, if anybody ain't sure what that is, it's called the Gifted Society with myself, Ukokomoyo. And thank you for allowing me to host you. Uh, I would like to play you a jam in my outro. My book, I put it down, the timestamp, it's 26. Seems like nobody caught 1717 today. Uh, it's 26. Here we go. Uh, and the song goes a little something like this. Okay. I don't know why it's quiet. <laughs> oh, what happened to the music? We we're doing so well, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we unmuted this dog. <laughs> Okay, it's not the one. It's lost now. It's lost. The song is lost. This is the song I wanted to go out with, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Don't waste your relationships. Don't waste your time with people. Be kind. Be mindful. Take care and show love to everybody. Don't miss the opportunity to say thank you, to say bless you, to say I love you. And and thank you for teaching me that. Thank you, for, guys. Please. Let's do the right thing. I'll be back next week to host you. I've been your host at the most. Kokomoy.